Hi, welcome back to another Galactic Customs tutorial. One of the most common questions I get is how to mix skin tones. There is no one answer for this, but I'll show you what I do, and hopefully a video on mixing paints is a little more entertaining than one of paint drying. Before we get started, let's take a look at supplies. First, you'll want two medium-sized paint pots with a good sealable lid. I mix a lot of paint at once, and I've had one batch last up to a year. Next, we need the paints. These are all acrylics, and I use a light, store-bought flesh tone as a base, brown, red, yellow, green, and black. You also need a medium to large size brush for mixing, and a donor body to test out the paint color. I'm using a caustic plastic muscular body, or KPO2. And finally, you'll need some water to thin the paints out at the end. A cool Superman glass, or really any pop culture icon of your choosing, is optional. And I know what you might be thinking. Whoa, wait a minute. You're using flesh tones? Isn't that kind of cheating? Maybe it is. But to be honest with you, the first time I ever mixed skin tones, that is what I used as the base, and it has worked since then. And hopefully it can work for you too. I start off by mixing a medium skin tone. If you've seen my previous tutorials, you'll know that I use the medium skin tone as the base. Be sure to shake all of your paints well, and then add about half a bottle or one ounce of the light flesh tone. Then add a good amount of a dark brown. Mix well and test on the donor body. You can see here on the donor body that after the first round of brown, we're not even close, so we need to keep going. Continue adding brown and mixing and testing until you get a tone close to that of the donor body. You can see by the higher paint level, I've done this a few times and ended up with about a 50-50 mix. Now check it against the donor body. You can see here that we're getting close. Now it's time to add the other colors. Add in the red, yellow, green, and black. Start with a small amount of each, as it's easier to add more of these later than to balance it back out if you overdo the red, green, or other colors. And then mix, taking the time to appreciate the Jamaican color scheme you've created. Now check it against the donor body. You can see here that we're getting close, but not quite there yet. At this point, it's really just a matter of adding more colors, mixing it up, and slowly walking in the paint until you're happy with the color. This is going to take a bit, so please enjoy some light music. I think that'll do it. Looks pretty much spot on to the body. The next thing we'll do is to mix up the light skin tone. This is a much easier step. Just transfer about one third of the paint you just mixed over to the second container. Then add in a healthy amount of the store bought flesh tone to lighten it up. I'd say about a one part flesh tone to two parts medium should work. Just like the medium, start with less and add more until you have two tones that are similar but different enough like this. Here's where the water and your cool glass come in. The paint as is will be too thick to get a smooth even look. So thin both down with about one part water to four parts paint or until you get a thinner consistency. If over time the paint thickens, which it will, just add a bit more water until you get the consistency that you're happy with. 
Lastly, label each lid and seal the paint. A good seal will keep the paint usable for a long time. In comparing the store-bought flesh tone and our finished medium tone, you can see that the medium tone is a darker, richer color that more closely approximates the colors used by Hot Toys and other manufacturers. If you're attempting to color match a specific body, you may find that the tone is not quite perfect. In these cases, I find setting aside a small amount of the medium or light skin tone and then adding a small bit of yellow or red can sometimes get you closer. Here's a head I painted with this particular batch of skin tones, following the same process laid out in my five part tutorial on painting 1 6 heads. Thanks again for watching. Please post any comments or questions below and be on the lookout for the next tutorial coming soon.